Son and Holy Ghost. Father, Jesus Christ, peace, the Holy Ghost is Almighty God. And the concept of Trinity, the word Trinity doesn't exist anywhere in the Bible. The word Trinity is not there in the Bible, but it is there in the Quran. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 171, it says, Don't say Trinity. This has stopped it better for you. Trinity is also there in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 73, which says, they are doing kufr, they are blaspheming. Those who say that Allah is three in one, is a triune God. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never said he was God. The concept of Trinity doesn't exist in the Bible. The only verse which is closest to the concept of Trinity is the first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7, which says, for there are three that bear a call in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. But, if you read the Revised Standard Version, revised by Thaidu scholars, Christian scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different corporate denominations, they say this verse of the Bible, first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse number 7, is an interpolation, is a concoction, is a fabrication. It was thrown out of the Bible. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I am God, or where he says, worship me. In fact, if you read the Bible, it is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, he said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devils with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I, with the finger of God, cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my father. Anyone who says not my will, but God's will, he's a Muslim. Muslim means the person who submits will to Almighty God. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, not my will, but God will. He was a Muslim, and he was, alhamdulillah, one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe, we believe that he was born miraculously, without any male intervention. We believe he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. We respect Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, as one of the mightiest messengers of God, but he is not God. And he is not a part of the Trinity. Trinity doesn't exist. Quran says, Kul hu Allah ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. Uh, before we have the next question from the mic here, earlier I had announced that the ladies should kindly queue up there. Unfortunately, they have not queued up there. So we are having a problem of balancing the questions. Okay. What we do, we disregard the labels on the mic. Yes. If the ladies want to ask from here, We'll allow them. Let's just balance this in practical necessity. The hall is jam-packed. We understand. We will allow now one question yeah, for Dr. Campbell from here. And the rare mic will be for people who'd like Correct. to ask questions from the gents for Dr. Zakir. Yeah. Similarly, for the ladies, the front mic would be for Dr. William Campbell. And the rare mic would be for Dr. Zakir. Are the people queued there for Dr. Zakir? Yeah. Yes. People queued here for Dr. Uh, Campbell? Right. I think they have taken their own positions and changed the positions the organizers had given. We respect it because of the rush in the hall. With the next question for Dr. Campbell, Campbell from this mic. Thank you. Yes, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Um, alhamdulillah, tonight's been praise be to Allah, praise be to the one God of all mankind. Tonight's been a very interesting dialogue, um, and a dialogue at that. Um, it's talking about uh, a very noble uh, topic for mankind, for all of mankind. And uh, so we have gathered here as men uh, of humanity. Question, question please. Okay. No, no statement. Bismillah. Question. Okay. Bismillah. Question. In the name of Allah, the question, question is this. Okay, we've come here together for this event tonight. It should benefit us. And, and so I'm asking Dr. Campbell, uh, as a Christian and, and, and with your colleagues as well, has this event... Uh, done its job? Has it opened your heart? Has it, has it at least uh, opened a glimmer towards looking further into the truth of Islam? Thank you.
Well, I think I'll use the last question to answer yours. Dr. Nike says there's no place that Jesus says he's God. In Mark 14:61, he didn't answer. And again, the high priest was questioning him and saying to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? In other words, are you the Christ, the Son of God? And Jesus said, I am. So he did say, I'm the Son of God. And he did say he's divine. And it, the, the, the Bible clearly says, I realize he's quoted the verses he wished to quote, Dr. M Dr. Zeich wished to quote, where Jesus was in his human form. But there's other verses. He says, I and the Father are one. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and, the, and, the, and God was made flesh and dwelt among us. In Jesus' baptism, the Father spoke and said, this is my beloved Son. Jesus was there, and the Holy Spirit descended. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We didn't make this thing up from our heads. Just lift this little, little uh, thing. The, uh, now my the, the friend asked the question here. We've learned many things, and I'm always willing to learn, but I still think that the 500 witnesses that saw Jesus after he rose from the dead have more power with me than Mohammed coming 600 years later as one witness. Thank you. We'll allow a question Sorry. for Dr. Zakir Sorry. from the rear. Yes, sister. Um, Dr. Campbell did first attempt to bring up supposed false facts uh, pertaining to the Quranic views on the universe, and you did refute these accusations. However, it was not addressed what the Bible says about the shape of the earth and its other aspects. Sister asked the question that I did not address regarding what the Bible says about the shape of the earth. Lack of time, I can point out another hundred points. Lack of time. Anyhow, sister wants to know what does the Bible speak about the shape of the earth? It's mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number four, verse number eight. It says the same reference which Dr. William Campbell used about.